there are uh, many kind of uh, climatic problems are facing nowadays in Bangladesh. In the country, uh, in northwestern part is uh, drought affected. In southern is uh, coastal. That is uh, salinity uh, gradually increasing in that areas, and we also have uh, recurrent flooding problem in all all over the countries. So people who are living in rural areas are now facing. Uh, different kind of climatic problems in around the years. Yes. Okay. Uh, and what is it that you can do, your organization, BASTIC, can do to help uh, yeah. for now? Actually, BASTIC uh, work with the three major thematic areas like uh, agrobiodiversity, climate change, and food security issues. And uh, we just facilitated the work, what are being, you know, what are being done by the people. Uh, we just uh, play as a role of facilitators, facilitators because people have own initiatives, people have own efforts to survive in and adapt also in certain changes in due to climate change. So uh, people are not migrating uh, as a, uh, are not migrating, all people are not migrating. They are still uh, has effort to survive in their areas. In that case, uh, we just uh, facilitate the farmers uh, to con carry forward their work and to continue the work that they can uh, protect their uh, livelihoods in their own localities rather than migrate uh, to other new areas. Because we have obviously farmers who have been working on the area for, for sometimes hundreds of years, yes. have a local knowledge, have a, an ability to cope with some yeah, of the crises, yes, have exactly. always coped with flooding and, yeah. and drought and yes, the rest exactly. of it. So you're using that knowledge, are you, that experience yeah. to help facilitate the problems that, that, they, that they face now and in the future? Yeah. Um, just agriculture is, a, is, a, uh, is not new in Bangladesh. People are mostly dependent on agriculture and uh, it's, it's amazing to say it's a small country but um, farmers have the capacity to grow more to feed all people there are about 160 million uh, people in Bangladesh with small areas the, we have haven't enough food shortage so with the changes with the all adverse effects although farmers are uh, trying their best to feed the country's men. So we believe farmer has knowledge, farmers has capacity, but we need to facilitate, we need to uh, support to um, carry on their work. That's why Batsik uh, believe uh, the local knowledge as a poor nations, we don't have so technical, uh, so, you know, technical facilities in, in around the countries. So local knowledge, indigenous knowledge is the, uh, one of the best way to cope with the ch changing situations and, and cope with and to integrate with the development initiatives. What, what more could the international community do? What more you know, could uh, conferences, processes like this one at COP18 mm -hmm. do to help Bangladeshi farmers? Um, actually, uh, it might help, but the process of help, I mean, uh, the uh, climate fund, I mean, Fast Start Fund, it's, 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 it's not uh, working at the moment and how much it would be go for adaptation and how much would be go for mitigations is not yet solved. So in countries like Bangladesh, we need adaptation, uh, adaptation purposes support. Um, so this kind of um, event is helpful, but it needs to, uh, it needs to more focused to the poor farmers. Actually farming in uh, around the globe is different. Agriculture in third world countries, I mean these developed countries is different. That is subsistence agriculture that feed the country's people. But 